Misfits. Today we're going to do a quick hip pocket class on peer evals at OCS and TBS. I'll give you the rough framework from what I remember and uh, then my personal thoughts and advice. Now at both OCS and TBS you'll do two or three peer evaluations for each training cycle and uh, peer evals happen only at the squad level. At OCS using the 14 leadership traits as a guide, you will select three positives and three negatives for each candidate in your squad. So that's three traits that a candidate excels in and three traits that he or she can improve upon. You will also rank your squad from first to last, first being most desirable, last being least desirable. At TBS, you will also rank your squad from first to last, and uh, then you will put in whatever comments you deem necessary to support your ranking. Uh, for TBS, you will not use the 14 leadership traits. The general premise or the general question is, you know, would I go to combat with this person? That's, I forget if that's the formal or informal uh, question that they frame peer evals in, but uh, that's a guide that you can use. So uh, at TBS, you'll also select a top five and bottom five for your platoon. Here's my retrospective advice for peer evals. First, at OCS, everyone is going to get negative comments on their peer evals. It's legitimately part of the process. Don't let a few words send you into a spiral or drive a wedge between you and your peers. All people have problems, and when you put 60 people in the OCS environment, you will find something to not like in everyone, and they in you. That doesn't preclude you from working well as a team. Not being perfect and working well with each other are not mutually exclusive conditions. Don't make mountains out of molehills. Second, with that said, your rank in the squad is as good an indicator as any as to how well you're doing with your peers. A low ranking should tell you that you're either not cutting the mustard somewhere and or that your personality doesn't mesh well with the others. So long as you stay on top of your responsibilities and are physically fit, you should be in pretty good shape. If you want to do well, look for ways to set your peers up for success and don't be a jerk. When all else fails, just don't talk too much. As for personality, that is on you to figure out what you need to change. Be confident, but not so confident that you are above improving or taking in legitimate feedback and or criticism. Third and final point, the TBS peer eval process is really where you need maturity of mind. For your TBS peer evals, you will get to write down whatever you want about your fellow squad members along with their ranking. And the process attempts to be anonymous. The really harmful thing about the peer eval process at TBS is that it allows you to badmouth somebody without having a conversation with them and feel like you've done your part in addressing their weaknesses. It allows you to substitute the courage of sitting down with somebody and having a hard conversation and figuring out where they're at with the cowardice of blasting them on a sheet of paper without putting your name down. My personal advice for TBS would be to not write anything down about someone unless you've discussed it first with them personally and they just won't listen. Anonymously ripping each other up destroys cohesion and does nothing to develop your leadership, courage, or character. My second piece of advice is to not look for payback. Someone may say something nasty about you and it may or may not be justified. Staying on the high road will do way more for your personal and professional development than going down to the slums to return a cheap shot. True leaders are able to have hard conversations with progress as the purpose, and they will put up with some insults along the way. So concerning the peer eval process, it's a little bit of a balance. You can't let peer evals or even peer opinions steer you too far off your game unless your game is so far off track that it needs a lot of correction. At the same time, you need to evaluate yourself honestly and consider whatever feedback you receive, how legitimate it is and if your judgment is being clouded by the 
desire not to hear hard truths. You're not going to see your peers in such high concentration after TBS, but this exercise is still worth something. Or maybe it's just specifically designed to test your character. The key in all of this is to make yourself a better leader. And leaders are competent, confident, compassionate, and courageous. If you have a question about anything else concerning OCS or TBS, just let me know and I'll do a hip pocket class on it like this one. Remember, it is not about you. Stay hungry, stay humble, stay out of trouble. Take care.